Hey everybody, uh, this is Paulio Jr. And right now, through the through my phone, you can't see shit unless maybe I get up close. So you can see the moon, and then straight ahead of me is a uh, is a way down to uh, the creek by my house, <clears throat> and uh, I wish I could get some more so it's actually not too bad down here right now it's maybe like mid 60s you know but this is just what I'm walking by right now near uh, I'm right outside of Philadelphia but that's the only thing you can see through the phone it looks like is the moon but that's okay because I'm just gonna ramble so now uh, just sharing some thoughts. Uh, in my my experience, the biggest thing, uh, regardless of where it came from, is uh, is to be attentive. And <laughs> something on my leg. <laughs> is to be uh, attentive but not to the point where it's a, um, a like a paranoid attentive it's just the tension that's it so and uh, once you go to a place of attention which I am <laughs> kind of slipping out of right now uh, you sort of realize, well, you realize that, uh, I think it's these houses up here. Nope. <laughs> but you sort of realize that, um, you are way, 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 way bigger than any thought you could ever have. And... It's unfortunate when people, including myself, uh, identify with every single goddamn thought uh, in their mind. So, and to keep it simple, it's just your, we'll, we'll call it uh, conscious and unconscious. So, we'll say the conscious aspect of you is uh, what you do consciously, what you manually do, and the unconscious part is, uh, is automatic. So, uh, so the manual is when you're actually in control, and uh, automatic is when you're running off of conditioning, and uh, your unconscious is running the show. So. And the, the most interesting, I have an interesting part of uh, the most, <laughs> the biggest thing to realize is that uh, when you have uh, certain thoughts that tend to keep you in some sort of fear base. Now, fear is very, very uh, general. It's a general term uh, that pretty much covers every single fucking other sort of emotion or thought process. And I think we all know by now that your uh, your emotions are triggered by thoughts so um, but when you have a thought that is um, fear based and fear uh, is going from worry to worried to anger to anxiousness uh, even depression those kinds of things uh, is you 
have to realize that not uh, somebody told me the other day that 90% of all worry doesn't come true. And you know what I came to the conclusion of? Well, before that was that 100% of all worry uh, does not come true. Because worry is a story. And uh, there's no stories. <laughs> in facts so facts are facts but stories are interpretations of facts <sighs> and I don't know why I decided to make this little walk just uh, in that mode and this is that mode right now it comes a lot of times when you need your personal space and you want to feel uh, you want to feel at peace you want to feel free so for whatever reason that thought popped up in my head and I thought it was a I felt it was a good idea, so. Um, so, we're just continuing down here. There's a Swedish cabin down here. Even though right now, in the camera, it looks like there's jack shit. <laughs> so you can see that speed limit sign up there. But, right now, it's, uh, it's nice and peaceful. And there was a time when... Uh, Unfortunately, but fortunately, where this walk down here was actually uh, very s scary for me. Um, where I was uh, extremely paranoid and anxious and all that fun stuff. I had done. I would do this walk at night to try and get over that. Uh, nothing ever came of it. <laughs> Just kept making it worse. But oh shit, people actually. There's a cabin down here. Uh, typically for um, the people who own or the people who uh, work for the township. So. And then there's a old Swedish cabin down here from like the 1600s that they preserved and maintained a little bit. But, uh, so the, mo the, most, uh, the most important thing and like I said, in my experience, to realize is um, you are, uh, if you're observant enough, let's go down to the creek. If you are observant enough, you will realize two things. One, that thoughts are just things that arise in your unconscious brain. And then two, that you are indeed the conscious aspect of the brain. So anything that's unconscious so anything that happens without your uh, permission is unconscious so and that's really the biggest part to finding out about uh, yourself 
and I don't mean you, I mean your self, your conditioned uh, state, your unconscious, and there's really not a shitload to know about uh, the unconscious brain. I mean, you could go into detail about different physical parts of the brain, physiological aspects of the brain, and all that good shit. But that will never absolutely take you past uh, where you want to, where I feel as though uh, I would like to be. I would like to be uh, the uh, observer of my thoughts and not thinking or not identifying with every single fucking thought that I have, but at the same time knowing when I'm having beneficial thoughts that I can't act out, I can't act on them, or I don't have to do anything with them, but in that knowing, uh, in that knowing, you just have this uh, instinctive knowing, and it's not like a, uh, it's not like a, like a bear instinct or anything like that, it's, it's very different, it's a very, uh, wakeful, uh, instinct, instinctive, uh, noticing. I'm gonna fucking walk like two miles <laughs> uh, in the middle of the night. Just to, just cuss. But at least we got something over here. And in the in that light, that looks really creepy, but uh, it's really not. It's actually really nice. And I uh, should probably do this during the day. <clears throat> like a selfie stick. I've never actually done this before where I would like I've never actually taken a selfie. I've taken a photo of me from uh, my webcam. That's the farthest I've ever gone with a, you know, with a selfie. So. Uh, do, do, do. I think that, uh, that people should take time to themselves. I'm not talking about a couple minutes, a half hour. I mean, like some significant time to themselves. And uh, that's just me. But, so. We'll go a little, a little deeper here. Um, so I was talking a little bit about uh, long s- to summarize it. Um, unconscious is automatic, and conscious is manual. So, in the conscious aspect, everything that you perceive, so whatever it is perceiving. The, 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 that intangible aspect of you that just perceives without calling, without labeling anything, without calling it something. That's what you are. Everything else is just mental static, mental noise. So, nothing wrong with having healthy thoughts and all that fun stuff. It's fantastic. Uh, I was told once and my experience, this is definitely true, is to make thinking secondary 
and it becomes more beneficial. I definitely know that to be true. It can be very difficult if you've been thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking your entire life all the time. It's like trying to break a, a drug habit. Same thing. It's probably the most uh, addictive drug is fucking thinking nonstop. But healthy and productive thoughts are uh, are fantastic, and I feel as though they can be done two ways. So the one way is by making those making thinking secondary. So, kind of focusing away, not really engaging in negative, unbeneficial thoughts. And then, uh, the other is that, obviously, which many, of, many people have talked about more than anything, <laughs> is manually putting in um, uh, thoughts that will help propel you to what you want and so forth. I was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> and so, any, <clears throat> in my experience, any fucking, any thought that interrupts your peace is, uh, should be dismissed immediately doesn't need to go to some sort of root cause or anything like that. It's merely uh, your unconscious brain in a state of disarray. Because I've noticed you can explain a lot of things to your unconscious brain in order for it to calm down and it still won't. So and you have to move into a different direction. So, when you're feeling upset, and all it is, it's just a, um, it's just a higher level of uh, energy, disruptivity in your unconscious brain, and that's it. So, either convince it to relax, or in its own way, in your own way, force it to relax. And you force it by, <laughs> it almost sounds contradictory. Force it by not resisting it, but by having a sort of, by gently focusing away from um, that thought activity, that mental stream, and, but you're not fighting. rid of it and so forth, you just consciously know where you stand, and then that's it, you pull away from it, it's like walking by a barking dog, you don't go and you still hear it, but you don't have to yell at the dog, and engage the dog, the oh, car's coming. see it, so for instance, the example of the dog, you see the dog that's barking at you behind the fence, okay, you keep walking by the dog, you hear it, you don't say anything to it, and that's kind of the best way to move past negative, disrupting thoughts, unhealthy, beneficial um, thought patterns. close to the end here, and it's just some thoughts, I've been walking for almost 20 minutes now, so, uh, hope you guys enjoyed, it's a different kind of video, but, uh, I 
I've actually enjoyed doing this. This has been more of a, a vlog <laughs> than anything else. So, still cool. Thanks for joining me at uh, 9.57 p.m. And you guys have a good day or night, whatever it is. Later.